the lives of women. And we are really just dealing with topics that we know are absolutely central and key for us to achieve our goals and objectives. And one thing that we need to be very careful and deliberate about is our energy because our energy controls our results. So last night, um, Camila McDonald and Rachel Christian took on health, wellness, exercise, nutrition. All of those things are very key to maximizing your energy and then therefore maximizing your results. With the Goal Accelerator Club, every single month we deep dive into a topic um, that is a major key for accelerating your goals, but with specific tools and strategies. And the truth is, if it is something that supports you in achieving your goals, then it is the concern of the Goal Accelerator Club. Now, one thing as women um, that you know, can really affect the extent to which we achieve our goals is the nature and quality of our relationships, especially our intimate relationships. Because at the end of the day, if that is out of whack, if we have a partner and we're not equally yoked, if we're always, you know, sort of having drama, if the support is not there, um, then it can really affect the extent to which we achieve our goals. It can affect our energy and everything that, that we end up doing. And, you know, I've seen before that, you know, this quote that one of the most important decisions you can make in your life is whether you're going to have a life partner because this just will affect everything. And so people have said it from Sheryl Sandberg, the CEO of Facebook, to, you know, all different kinds of women just talking about how, the partner is so important and it's better to have no partner at all than to have a dysfunctional situation because that's going to drain your energy and really just, you know, uh, prevent you from achieving what you need to achieve. So excitement when I started following the wife coach LB. This Instagram live right now, uh, but she's also going to be the guest expert coach for next month in the Go Accelerator Club. Hi, LB, and both LB and Nicola, who, who I'm going to introduce you to in another live. Too bad there hey. can't be more than one person in the live, or she would be in it. But we'll introduce her tomorrow. But LB and I have never actually met in person, but I did meet Coriel. Coriel and LB were together yes I, I was like Coriel what does wife coaching I don't understand what is a wife coach <laughs> what do, I'm like I'm being honest LB I was like why do they have a coach for everything and this right. is coming from a coach I was sort of ashamed okay and then I said to myself why wouldn't let me just follow her and see what this is all about and I started to like use the tips and techniques and slowly but surely hello Joshua this is distracting me. So if you guys could, okay. So let them have their time in the in the yeah. Say hello. Okay. Hi. No adios. Bye. Adios. <laughs> Somebody bring me the ace. Okay, good. All right, guys. So I'll be with you shortly. So just I'm gonna go, on. go on, brush your teeth. Joshua, gonna... don't eat anything else tonight. <laughs> Lovely. Put on. Okay. Make your vision board. Close the door, please, honey. He doesn't listen. Close the door, please, honey hilarious you know it's you know it's okay. real it's real all right so wife coach i was yes. like what the hell then i started following you and this is why i think it's so important to have an open mind yeah. but just to realize that there have been wife coaches since the beginning of time but it's just that they've never presented like you it's never been really like maybe it's been a profession maybe they've come in the form of therapists maybe it's right. a bestie. Maybe, but you know, everybody doesn't have that person in their lives who can give them that really sound advice coming from a place of spiritual wisdom and experience. Right. So I started following you and saw your tips. I was like, wait, this girl is for real. This woman is a real wife. <laughs> T.D. Jake said not every woman is a wife. Right. And so why, this is like such a key central relationship for me, for my family, for my kids. Why would I not want it to be the best? And I have to take my role in that seriously. Exactly. So, wife coach, I'm a true believer, and I would love for you to just introduce yourself, yes, to, um, to the followers who might be skeptical like me yes. about like what does a wife coach do, <laughs> and then there are a couple questions you're gonna tackle, and then you're gonna tell us about what you're gonna do in the coaching session, yes, for Goal Accelerator, which is next month. Absolutely. Well, happy Tame Your Tongue Tuesday. Let me just go ahead and say that it is Tame Your Tongue Tuesday. 
Thank you so much for having me on, Nicole. This is impromptu, but you know I'm always down for a good girl chat. I'm an impromptu kind of girl. Can I, say? <laughs> I love it. Well, I am Lakia Brandenburg, better known as LB. I am the wife coach on Instagram. You can follow me at the wife coach. And I help women to get to get rid of the fairy tale syndrome so that they can create a more realistic version of what marriage is. I coach women who are married, women who are desiring marriage single women who want to date and get married eventually, right? Um, so I help them to get in that position because I really believe that all married women aren't wives. I like to say that twice because sometimes it go over your head. All married women aren't wives. How do you know if you're a wife or not? See, no, no, I, know, no. I know that there are men tuning in here like, how do we know if the woman is a wife? I'm saying, no, because just because you have a ring on your finger does not mean you are operating as a wife. And so as the wife coach, my whole job, my whole platform is to help you to know the difference so you can be the difference. Because in your relationship, you will feel the difference. Like Nicole was saying, all that drama, all that, you know, discourse, all it of that is not suck your energy. Where do you get that from, right? So you can't have that type of relationship and be functional, be successful, be healthy if you don't understand how to operate in your power. So that's who I am as the wife coach. I'm simply helping you to tap into, check this out, your God-given power. Because she did, Nicole just posted. She just posted a clip from T.D. Jakes. All married women aren't wives. He pretty much said that. Just because you are a woman doesn't mean you are a wife. So my whole goal is to help you pull out that power, help you to understand how to talk to your man on this Tame Your Tongue Tuesday. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I started like listening to Tame Your Tongue Tuesday, I was like, and I started to use the tips immediately, and yeah. it was just such an immediate change. Shit. And you don't even realize. I, I really love what you said a while ago about just teaching women how to operate in their power. You yes. said it a while ago. Just you know, because so many times we we give up our power simply because we are unaware. Yes, that's it. We're unaware of what, and see, somebody's asking what makes you a wife. And it's the power of influence. It's understanding how she carries herself. See, my thing is, again, let's talk, to, talk about the two women. We got the married woman and we got the wife. The married woman, she's Mrs. Nagging. She's Mrs. Sarcastic. Ningy, ningy, ningy. She's Mrs. Controlling. <gasps> she's Mrs. Know-it-all. All of the negative things that you see happen between a husband and a wife, you know what I'm saying? Or a man and a woman, where they're just fighting for position. They're fighting for control. They're fighting for leadership. Why? Why are we doing that when I can understand how to communicate my feelings when I'm frustrated? I can understand that taming my tongue doesn't mean I can't talk. Nicole, you can talk. You can talk to your man. Well, you know, you could never tell me, don't, I mean, let me, let me say it for the foreigners, because we might have some of your, your followers on. <laughs> You could never tell me not to talk. You know. <laughs> so it's not about giving up your power. It's about no. using you, your power. How to use it for good. That's the only thing. Because as a woman, let's just go ahead and be real. We have the power. We can manipulate. We can be very manipulative. But why would you want that in your marriage? Like, who would want that? Nobody wants a weak man. Nobody wants to emasculate their no. men. But if you know how to use your power, meaning how to talk to your man, is this the right time to bring up this conversation? Is this, the, am I in the right energy to bring it up and talk to him where we can talk like adults and really work on a solution? But see, that's when you don't understand the power. That's when you don't understand that there's a difference between being a married woman and being a wife. So you got to figure out who are you showing up as in your marriage? Are you showing up as a married woman or, or are you that wife? <laughs> oh! So, oh my God, I cannot wait for you to like, because you're like giving us a sneak peek, but in Golak Serenity, you're going to like go through like a system. Like, yes. You know, how do you yes. not only be, be like be a wife? Yes. Don't your IFP with cops, but also prepare. To That's be a preparation wife. is key. Preparation is key. Let me tell you something. Jumping into marriage unprepared is as wise as jumping into a pool and not knowing how to swim. Drops my, did you hear that? <laughs> Who would do that? Like, that's how serious marriage is. Like, do not get married. So, LB, you know what's over here. LB, how, okay, how on earth did you become the wife coach? Like, how, you know, yeah. everybody has a story about, like, how did yeah, you yeah. realize that this was your calling? Because yeah. one thing I have seen from following you 
for like the past three months from tuning into your lives, from reading your posts, is that you are absolutely passionate, convicted, and you have, yeah. you're real. You are that authenticity, and it's yeah. like you have that passion, and you're helping a lot of people. Yes. And if you think about what how important marriage is to the foundation of society, That's you it. are doing divine work. Thank how you. How did you come to this? And you know, so funny because it's not like I grew up saying I'm going to be the white coach. I'm going to coach women how to be wives. What happened was I realized in my own relationship what would happen if I just changed certain things, meaning I started changing how I spoke to Derek. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's a shift. I started changing the way I showed up in my marriage, and there was a shift. I wrote my first book. Got to put the plug in there. First book. First book. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be sending out. We'll be posting that. Hello. So look, but when I went ahead and told my story because we all have a love story. But my love story was about two imperfect people who are perfect for each other. I had to help women understand that I was coaching them indirectly in this book. Like, I'm showing you how to create your own marriage. I'm showing you how to not use the examples of failed relationships. Like, my first example of marriage was my parents, and it was a failed relationship. Mine it wasn't too. a healthy relationship. So now that I got the tools, to be successful and realize like, wait a minute, this is the most important decision I can make in my life. Like you said, it's like going into business. You would not get into business with somebody who had no business sense. So why would I get married and not understand who I was getting married to or my influence on this person that I'm become, you know, becoming one with? So that's where the wife coach came from. I started coaching women, first of all, so they could understand. I understand why you're frustrated. If I started seeing Mrs. Nagging, I said, come on, baby girl, let me show you something right now. Learn how to tame your tongue. And she's like, what? I can't talk. No, boo. Sometimes you don't understand silence is more powerful, not, stop, not the silent treatment. So that's, that's a tool of manipulation right that's there. That's a tool of manipulation. I'm talking about processing, first of all, why am I getting upset? What's going on with me? I teach women how to own their ish. And that ish is your issues. So when I started owning my ish, that's when I tapped into my power. When I started owning my ish, I tapped into my power and I saw the result in my relationship. So I had to tell women, I'm like, girl, let me tell you what you need to do. I did this with Derek and then he changed. Like, seriously, I did, you know, the wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, and I can tell that just from like listening to you, tame your tongue does not mean you sit there and like, allow the man to just do whatever and you don't say anything or whatever. So what does it mean? Because we got a question, like, what does it mean Absolutely. to be a submissive wife? And this is a conversation yeah. I've had many times. And the Bible says you should submit to your husband. <laughs> and so what does it mean to you be a submissive You know what? Wife? The, the thing about submission, first of all, we got to understand what submission is not so that we can appreciate it for what it is. All right. Submission does not mean your man is dominating you. Submission okay. does not mean you don't have any power. Submission does not mean he can walk all over you. Absolutely not. Hell Submission no. is simply understanding how to yield to leadership. Yield. And that's all it is. For example, I like to look at submission. Paint a picture. Look at partner dancing. Look at the waltz. If both of those people were leading, they'll be stepping on each other's feet. They'll be bumping each other's knees, hitting each other's head, you know, looking crazy. But if you notice in partner dancing, one person leads, one person follows. And that's all it is. And the beautiful yes. thing in marriage is that sometimes you're leading and he's following, but you got to yes. work that power. Yes. And, so, and so, what uh, Michelle Obama said, like said something recently, I think it was at Essence Fest about marriage being a team. Like yes. you are on a team and both players have to have their strength. That's it. Yes. And there has to be that trust because I find that a lot of women won't yield and part of it is, yes, controlling or whatever. That's but it. fundamentally, sometimes it's that they don't trust that's the key person but, but you married them well so that's the thing, thing is, you can't you can't like if i don't trust your judgment and i don't think but, you're smart exactly I'm marry but you. i married you yeah so that's the thing so i need my women to understand like you are the neck he may be the head but you're the neck and you get to turn that neck anyway you can turn that's your power so you got to understand how Wait, to step into it show me the next thing again Hold so on. your husband's Sorry. the head it's your, your husband's husband the head, head, but you're the neck. And you get to turn the that you if you know how to use your power, you're you're letting him know which direction he needs to go in. And you're understanding how to 
lead the leader. You're understanding how to support the leader. And that's what submission is. You got to stop that power struggle. So you got to understand sometimes we, we as women are too much in control of everything. And sometimes what I've learned in my own marriage is that God is trying to teach him something. He's trying to teach him how to be a leader. But if I'm bucking, if I'm always pushing against and resisting, then how is God going to pull him into that position that he needs to be in? Sometimes I got to fall back and say, you know what? I may not agree, but I'm going to trust you on this one. Mm. Every time I do that, that man will make sure that he right. Like he will make sure that his decision was the best decision because he wants to do what's right for the family. My husband's not going to do anything that's going to hurt us. Not mm -hmm. intentionally. Yes. So me as his wife, I'm supporting him in his role as my man. If you my head, then let me support you. Well, listen to this. I'll tell you this. I know this wasn't on our schedule 10 minute life. Look and I know we have a lot more to this get one. into on Grow Accelerator. <laughs> and Nicola, by the way, Nicola, I see Nicola in the comments. And she just said the barometer. Like she, she always talks to me about how, you know, she really believes that women are the barometer in the relationship. Like yes. they, they control so much of what the temperature and the climate Ooh, of yes. the relationship and the marriage and the household. Yes. And, you know, everybody sort of pulses off your energy. Yes. Um, and how important that is. But, um, but, but there's this, there are a lot of men have approached me about this. I don't want you to share just because you said the word support. Um, and a lot of men have, have come um, to me and have said they wish that I would talk more about women supporting their men. Mm. Um, as, if, as if many men are feeling somehow unsupported yes. in their relationship. I want you yes, to very touch true. on that. What, what does it mean to support your man as a wife, not yes. as a woman, as a wife? Because I see the distinction. I'm listening. There you go. There's a so, distinction. How oh, does that work? So the first thing you got to do is define support. What does support look like to you? What does support look like to him? Sometimes my husband just wants me to say yes. Like, don't give me the... <laughs> I, I can't imagine when LB... <laughs> Sometimes when he making decisions... Or when he wants to move right, and I'm like, uh, because I'm always trying to figure certain things out. And he's kind of like, a, just trust me on this. I got it. That's the support. Support is me just knowing that he has our best interest at hand. And sometimes I don't need to always know the end result. That's support. Support is saying, baby, you know what? Using my, my words of wisdom, using my words of affirmation, baby, I love you. I trust you. I, I really appreciate everything you're doing for us. Thank you so much for working so hard for us. That's supporting him. Understanding that he has to move a little differently than I may want him to in some times. You know, he's not going to mm -hmm. do things that I desire all the time. And what I mean by that is understanding that's how partnerships sometimes work. We, my voice is very loud in my relationship. I know how to use my voice for good. But when I was a married woman, y'all hear that? Not I, was, I, I was making, I was the whole bunch of noise. I was just a whole bunch of noise in my relationship. But when I learned how to be that wife, now I can support him and say, you know what? Oh, okay. This is how you're going to do that. You know what? Sometimes I just need to listen. My husband wants to come home and tell me about his day or he has a problem. Instead of me coming with 50 different answers or trying to ask him questions, well, why did you do this? Why didn't you do that? No, just listen. That's support. <laughs> so you got to define what support looks like for you and your man first. And then start showing that you trust him by supporting him in the way he needs you to. Wow. That's it. Sometimes they drop the mic. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That's it. So, okay. So I have one last one. All right. Um, and I, because, again, I'm hearing this a lot. And I know we're going to have much more time in I the can't wait. I'm so excited. A lot, of, a lot of women are... So this, this quick came in through the Insta questions. Okay. What do you... How do you approach dating when you feel like your biological clock is ticking away? And I know that we see a lot of women yeah. make terrible decisions because okay. of that biological clock, because they're lonely and they know that something's not right with this man, but they're just like, well, I just want I to be married and I want mm -hmm. to have kids now. And so I'm just going to, you know, so like, what's your advice there? Like, and no. I'm assuming that when you're working with your clients who are, yeah future wives of course who, yeah like that you do uh, and a lot of them are, are in their late 30s early yeah 40s. because even if you are the best wife no yeah one, even if you are the ultimate wife if, yeah if the man <laughs> like and, in other words you could be the ultimate wife yeah 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 it's not gonna fix a man or change it's a man not or like, it's not so it's how like do you, you 
You cannot oh, yeah, lead by that clock. Do not let your biological clock, or I'm 39, or oh my God, I want kids to be leading you and choosing the right man for your life. Because Nicola says, take the, the bucket out of the, of the clock. Let me tell you something, because like you said, getting married, even when you think about the father of your child, you don't want just a donor. You want somebody that's going to be a father to your child, that is going to help you train up a child in the way they should go. That's going to be there for them. That's going to be there for you, supporting you through the pregnancy and all of that. But it's beyond just your biological clock. Let's make sure, first of all, a lot of times we are so focused on finding the right mate instead of becoming the right mate. Ooh. So you, you see what I'm saying? Like you say that again, say that again, say that again. We are so focused on finding the right mate instead of becoming the right mate. So I would tell her to shift her focus. Like you said, take that battery out that bi biological clock, okay? And let's focus on becoming the right mate. In fact, all of my single ladies who's on here tonight, I'm gonna give y'all assignment right now, all right? What I want you to do is tonight make a list of all of the qualities, all of the things that you want your man to have. I mean, I want you to get real detailed, okay? Like really talk, like create this image of what this man, not just like I want him to be six feet, him make six figures, not that. I'm talking about how you want him to treat you, how you want him to treat your children or, you know, your unborn child. So make that list, okay? Do that first. And now I want you to become the list. Ooh. Did you catch that? I want you to become the list because you attract what you are, not what you want. Boom. Energy. It's attraction. It's the law of attraction, baby. What? Wow. Hey, single legs. I love y'all. I love y'all. Wow. Nicola is like 100% on that. Where oh my God. This is going to be explosive. This is going to be explosive. So, okay, LB, remind us of what we can expect because we have to oh run my now. God. Someone right. said, Someone said they want this life to go on Let forever. Let me tell you something. I'm dying. Nicole told me eight minutes, y'all. She told me eight. <laughs> then she bumped it up to ten. So I know. Tell, tell us what to expect in Gold Accelerator oh Club um, in August. I'm going to announce the date tomorrow. Absolutely. I'm so, so excited. I'm excited. Coming into the Gold Accelerator Club, it's all about your mindset. I think it's so important that we start with our mind. So I'm going to be looking at how to, first of all, show up in our relationships. Are we showing up as that married woman or that wife? We're going to break those two women down, the characteristics, who they are. Because you're right now, even if you're unmarried, you are a wife or you could be a wife and functioning as a wife and being prepared to be found by your man. Okay. So it's certain things that you need to do to start preparing. So we're going to start preparing you to embody those qualities that wives have. Every wife is, is not the same, but we do share that same power of influence, that power of change and that power of happiness. Like we can truly create the relationship that we want. At the end of the day, you will know, the difference between a married woman and a wife. You will know about a man that you with, because he will know. You'll know if he looking better, you looking better. Y'all look better together. See, I saw you on vacation, Nicole. You look real cute, girl. You look real cute. I know you a wife. I saw it. I saw it in your man's eyes, girl. You all that. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the Gold Accelerator Club. We're definitely going to be dissecting those two women and helping you to understand who you need to show up as in your relationship. OMG, it's going to be so epic, LB. I feel like this is like such a soul connection. I love your energy. I love your vibe. I've never met you in person in real life, but I know we're I know we were this close. At this least close. in November. Um for work play work pray slay in Atlanta, which I absolutely can't oh, wait for. So if anybody is in here who is in Atlanta or who can fly to Atlanta, because we need to start flying in pursuit of our growth and development. Yes. And stop waiting for it to land in our lap like we wouldn't get up and go on a plane for something else. Yes. So get on the plane, come to Atlanta, see us live in November. But wait. Goal Accelerator Club, I'll put the link in here. Please watch this space. I'll be going live with Nicola um, tomorrow. Oh, um, cool. so, I'll tell you so that you can jump into. Yes, um, I will. And see what we're talking about in the live. You too, but Nicola. this is going to be epic. This is going to change so lives. I'm so excited. She said, come to Florida. Come on you to Atlanta. come to Atlanta. <laughs> I love All right, it. thank you, LB. Have a great night. And I'm so Elsie L- L- is telling LB to have a great night too. Thank you so much. You too. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Oh, Josh.